In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to beat man-to-man -man coverage consistently in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Maybe you've never seen one of my videos, but what I do here is I post four videos a day on YouTube that are designed to help you with some type of tangible tactic, tip, route, blitz, concept, any of those things and so today we are talking about the uh, man beating because we all know that this year man-to-man -man coverage is really really effective um, and again if you guys want to stay up to date with all of those videos if you want to know when that content drops um, typically I post like I said four times a day all you've got to do is go to the bottom right of the screen right now and click that subscribe button and that's gonna allow you to stay notified um, whenever we post a new video and if you want to know whenever we go live because we typically live stream every single night here on my youtube channel you can click that little bell icon and that's going to notify you of all of that stuff now we all know that man-to-man -man defense is a challenge so los angeles rams playbook and the play that we are going to be um, focusing on comes to us from the shotgun tight flex formation and it is we have wide receiver cross which i've talked about as being one of the better plays in the entire game but this play right here pa post shot and all we're going to do is we're going to back the ball off a little bit just to give us a little bit extra space to show you this concept and if you really want to you can run it on the left hash but it's not that to me it's not that big of a deal either way and all we're going to do here is we're going to set up the max uh, coverage defense right here very simple and what you're going to see with this route is we're just going to take Zeke, and I like to just block him or put him on a block and release pattern. That's all I do. You don't have to make any adjustments to this play whatsoever. It's just going to work. Um, and what you'll see is you see these crossing routes. Now, this is why you put the curl flats out there, because if you drop the curl flats at 20 yards, it's going to eliminate the ability for you to run crossers. If they don't do that, let me just show you what happens. So this is no curl flats, right? Now, everyone's going to run curl flats, but if they don't have curl flats on there, you see that Michael Gallup is going to absolutely torch the coverage. So what they're going to have to do is they are going to have to drop um, both of their safeties into cloud flats. Well, then what that's going to open up for you is this route on the left side of the field as well as the deep post to Amari Cooper. Um, so you see here this route on the, on the left here. Um, you can click on, click on with CeeDee Lamb and you can swerve catch that. And typically you want to have your fastest um receiver in that position because he's going to be able to beat the man-to-man -man coverage as well and then you also on this play um, have jarwin right when he cuts across here on this little crossing route it's going to be a nice little quick five yards uh, quick quick five quick six yards against man-to-man -man coverage and then on this uh backside post what you're going to see with this play is he is going to get inside leverage amari cooper and again, because that's Stefan Gilmore, Stefan Gilmore is going to win. But if that's any other corner, Mario Cooper is going to absolutely roast him. Okay. He's going to absolutely roast him. So, in general, one of the things that I like to do um, with this play to get a couple more man beating routes, if you take your running back and just put him on a wheel, what you're going to see here is you're going to get a little bit of a, of a switch. Um, you're going to get a little bit of a switch on that running back right there. And so you could work that combination as well. It's kind of similar to what we're doing for wide receiver cross, which I talked about wide receiver cross, I think yesterday, as it was, as I think that is one of the better man um, uh, or man beating routes in the entire game. One of the thing you can do here um, with this is you can motion Michael Gallup out like we do from that over route. And you see that he's going to beat it in the middle. And that's another reason why crossing routes this year are so effective against man-to-man -man coverage because wherever you if you if you motion them out having a crossing route come from the outside this year is really really effective because the purples can't get to it they're going to have to use that route well that's going to then open up is it's going to open up this route to amari cooper right when he breaks to the inside as i get a terrible throw there from Dak prescott right as he breaks to the inside now you can um smart route his route to get him to go a little bit uh shallower and get him on that little cross right in that window right there you see and that's if they drop the safeties away let me show you what i'm talking about so they're going to have to drop the safeties away to govern the both crossing routes so both safeties are going to have to go into purples here and you're going to see something like this right now watch mark cooper's route just smart route it and what you're going to see here right when it cuts the inside it's going to beat the man-to-man -man coverage as long as mccordy doesn't come down on it which typically won't happen but you have you have routes 
um, that will beat that man to man. Right when he cuts the inside, um, you see Stefan Gilmore, because he has got that one step ahead ability, he is a little bit more effective in, in that coverage um, to be able to stop that route consistently. You can just put him on a drag, and what you'll see is you'll get these underneath, underneath mesh concepts. Um, but two man under is difficult to beat this year. But what you're going to get with this is you're going to get two crossing routes. It's going to force them to put the purples out there. And then if you've got a fast, um, like a, you've got a fast guy in this slot here, CD Lamb, um, he's going to do pretty good. As you'll see here, he's going to get up and over the top of the defense. But you're going to have all day to throw. And then sometimes you'll get stuff like that will happen for you. One other thing that you can do from this formation um, is you can just take CD Lamb if you have a speed advantage and just put him on a streak. And what you'll see, uh, smart out of Mari Cooper. So now you got those two crossers. And this little streak right here, um, if you have a speed advantage, don't always doesn't always win. But if you do have a speed advantage, it will win, especially against um, cover two man. If they take those safeties away, um, either a Mari Cooper's route or uh, CD Lamb's route will win against that trail technique coverage as you see right here. Click on, and you're going to get that nice little swerve animation over the top. So you can streak him if you want to really go all out against man. But this is a solid little play concept. It really starts and ends with this crossing route here to gallop, which is very, very, um, very, very solid against man to man this year. So you're in that crossing route in combination with the other side, um, being able to get this deep post. And like I said, as long as that's not Stefan Gilmore, as long as it doesn't have like a one step ahead ability on that route, that route will consistently win. Let me show you this play flipped really quickly just to show off, uh, just to show what I'm talking about, about if they go um, two purples on the side here. We'll flip the play. So now you've got Michael Gallup on that deep, deep post route. You got Jarwin on the other one. And what you'll see with this route right here is you can literally just lob it over the top click on and typically you're going to be able to get a one play score if you've got that speed advantage here with the Patriots and man to man we don't always have that speed advantage so you know I would just work the crossers uh, both of these crossing routes will typically get open against man to man um, that route to CD lamb if you have 90 plus deep route running in that um, I probably looking back at this video if you put Amari Cooper where CD lamb is you're gonna see this route's gonna beat it right that little cross is gonna get that nice little mesh so Anyways, PA post shot, one of the better man beaters in the game. So just wanted to share this with you guys today. If you have not already, I do want to encourage you right now to jump in my channel's Discord. You can do that by clicking the link in the description of this video.